Hi everybody, this is the Math 20-1 Radicals and Absolute Values Review. This is question 32D. I just have to find the restrictions on the variable here. And I get those from underneath the radical symbols. Okay, because we are only going to take the square root of positive values, which means 2x plus 9 must be greater than or equal to 0. Which means 2x must be greater than or equal to negative 9, or x is greater than or equal to negative 9 halves. At the same time, 1 minus 2x also has to be greater than or equal to 0. Maybe this time I'll bring the 2x term over. So 1 has to be greater than or equal to 2x and divide. And I'm going to get that x has to be less than or equal to a half. Now, putting those two together, these are actually working uh, towards each other. I've got the negative 9 halves here and I've got the 1 half here. So this really works if x is greater than negative 9 halves, but at the same time, less than a half. So in that interval right there is the one that we're looking for. And again, with, with two radicals here, we could start moving radicals over and start looking at the, the restrictions in a, in a different way here. But it turns out, uh, regardless of what we find, it's going to collapse down to these two anyway. These are the dominant restrictions in this problem.